adjust this real quick. I'm going to be a little bit lopsided. Um, but that's cool because I fell down the rabbit hole too. Tool. Two. <laughs> Anyways, so I was here laughing to myself and I just figured let me just share some of it. So it's so important to entertain and amuse our own selves like in many ways like I just did at this moment today because you know sometimes we have to come out and engage and take center stage and just be all that we can be because it's everything that we believe like what is it that you believe what is it that I believe isn't what I believe everything that's supposed to exude from within me like this place that I see these visions that I see how do I um, achieve this vision that I see if the faith that I'm supposed to have to believe doesn't exist inside of me like do we just conform to um societal ways do we just conform to this life and say oh it's just like this every day or are we supposed to grab within our hands and feel from within our hearts and burst and set the sucker and unleash it but you gotta what pick apart the parts or you have to understand the parts you have to dive into the parts these pieces that make every part of you you so it's so important to entertain ourselves you see because it is the amusement this inspiration that seeps in and finds um, the connection that we should have with ourselves, this motivational kind of uplift, sort of kind of help. And, you know, laughter for me is something that is a tool that is necessary in this energy management that we are creating and upkeeping for ourselves. Like, these are the things that are going to help. Like, if we get so lost in these times and all the things that happen that can create chaos in our minds, like, what are we to do? Like, what, sulk and cry and misery and feel miserable too? Feeding into that tube, that tube that keeps you at such a low vibe. Like, come on, guys, let's get with these times. Like, we are meant to energize and vibe on these inner rhymes and and feel what is it that you feel or are you so numb that nothing is real or you sit in your denial and 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 self woe like no like funk no funky funk no like that's not the kind of life that I want to live for me. Like, I didn't go through all this, this nonsense and all this pain and misery. Um, even that that has been inflicted upon me, forgiven, you see. I even forgive myself for all the, you know, messed up shit I've done along my way on my journey proud of these things no learn from things hell yeah but you know that came with a reality check you see there's certain mirrors that we must face and that is our own and everything that is what helps us to grow you must know you're known if you don't know if you can't answer somebody else will answer for you that is the bloody truth of this you see this hierarchy of energy controller is me controller is you 
no matter what is happening around you, you must center within your being. And that is going to be difficult sometimes. But you got to think, what is it that you need? What is it that you breathe? What is it that you want? What is it? What is it? So that that way you can execute with precision. Even when you're feeling through all the nonsense, the BS, the pain. There is a lot of pain, but it is possible to get through that too. This is coming from experience. From someone who wallowed. <laughs> because I ain't there. I can travel through there. And look at it from a third party view. Because that is the thing that we do to understand our do's and do's and don'ts. But it took me to have to get through that pain. Launched in. That pain that can still come up and rise. Because it's an emotional ride. It doesn't take away. But the pain doesn't have to stay. Even with all the messed up nonsense that may have not gone away, but yet my paradigm of thinking got me thinking, got me moving, got me positive, got me, you know, on my inner grinds. Because there's nothing that we can do about certain other individuals and experiences that we have in our lives because sometimes we got to ride that ride. But what, we're going to die inside? How is that right? It ain't right. Unscripted, you see. We don't need a script to find our fix, to know our shit. <laughs> I've been controlling my foul language, y'all. My cats are having fun with my pocketbook over there, I see distractions to keep me from entertaining this tube but you know there's more to this this freestyle kick that got me on some sharing type ish so you know this inner grow this inner glow the things you know the things you learn the dive you have to take inside and expand your mind it's everything you see i need to breathe and bleed i feel these things inside of me and everything i feel inside of me is what is riding with me so aligned with me i must be so that i can execute for myself everything that is in alignment for my health my wealth my stealth you know crazy talk some might say but alignment yo it goes a long way what can i say i wouldn't change these ways these waves these vibrations these sensations these elevations they are cosmic they are at its finest and it's being spread across these lands taking a stand you see, can't win war with war. Can't win war with war. Can't win war with war. Roar. Loves roar. Hear my loves roar. Talk about give me some more. I just, you know, get this. This energy that comes and flows through every part of me. And wants to share it with you, you see. I get excited for these things. These things that I wake up excited for. It's like, give me some more. I tell myself, give me some more. Jennifer, give me more. I need more. More. Right? This greed, is it folklore? That it got us all messed up in our heads saying, oh no, humble I must be. Or, you know, non-needy. You see, this greed, this seed that is misconstrued in so many ways that got the good folk feeling like crap if they 
think any of those other type of ways to keep them in those low waves because what they're undeserving for these things because it's things yeah so I'm excited I hit record the whole purpose of it was to share in a giggling experience that I was having a moment before I hit the record button because I did something to entertain myself um, I have a morbid sense of humor I'm not gonna share <laughs> what I did to entertain myself but know that it entertained me and I was giggling <laughs> right we all have these mysteries these histories these necessary things that we need to be and to rise in our shine and grab hold of everything that is precious. We are gold, golden, rainbow folks. We shine bright this hat over here. My shine it goes through. I can't cover this strong ass light boot. So now you know. Entertainment is the way to go. Expression is a gift from our souls, gifting us the opportunity to find the expression that we live that is purposeful in every single way. We each have an opportunity to express in our own ways. There is not one way. There are so many ways. Discover those ways. I do every day. Sometimes I find new things that I can do or, you know, find, you know, the passion for. It's like, give me more because you are more. You are infinite. You can expand. You are everything. Man, woman, God, God is whatever you resonate with. That is your ish. It's time to get hip with this because this is some alchem alchemical dish that you should eat up and lick the spoon that is the thing i like to do i sit there and i lick my spoon lick so anywho i think this energy blast of entertainment lens will meet with those that is meant for And thank you for coming through. May you find every part of passion that exists is existing inside of you. That untapped potential that exists inside of you. Everything that you know yourself that you believe or dream that you think you can do or maybe has got pushed under the carpet. Maybe it's time to address some things that would send to you lovingly in the heart of your wells. I'm sure you too have many stories to tell. Click subscribe so that I may love funk your mind. Namaste. I think I love this one. So the cup wobbles. That is the wobbles name. And wobbles hissed at me. I said, don't hiss at me. Don't hiss at me. Because we stayed in your life. How often do they want to keep us quiet? But it is we who is controller.